Today, I want to talk about the fastest and best way to fame farm in 2023 for Albion Online that no one is doing. And when I say no one is doing it, there are a few people doing it. But the reason why no one's doing it is because it's very expensive. It requires very strong gear. And it's a little bit of a skill issue with most players due to their ping or their inability to push six buttons. Okay, so let's get into it. Let me talk about uh, out there. There are many other people claiming to have the fastest fame farm. So I'm going to debunk and just talk about some of that stuff real quick before we get into the video. All right, so for those of you, uh, you might have seen a video from Big Lips McGee that says the fastest fame farm in 2023. And it looks something like uh, like this. Okay, that's his thumbnail. And um, in it, he says that you can fame farm the open world, essentially black zones, about 2.5 million fame per hour, okay? Now, in my video, which I put out a while ago, a guide video on how to fame farm the blue zone static areas, which is what I'm in now. I'm going to talk a little bit more about it. And the thumbnail, it looks like, uh, hold on, it looks like this. Okay, that's the thumbnail. All right. And the video itself is uh, this here. You can find it on my channel. Just use the search function. Click on my channel icon here. Farming 20 million fame per hour in Albion Online. Now, the reason people aren't doing my method is because it's expensive, all right? If you watch that video, it's a full guide. It shows you everything on how to do it. It is pricey. I think I spent 10 million silver uh, just running around in that video, just farming. And also, uh, my gear set is worth about 60 million, which most new players will not be able to achieve. But let me tell you, if you start now, like if you're a new player watching this and you want to get to this number of fame, yeah, you could farm 2.5 million fame per hour doing black zone open world stuff. Um, you're going to be constantly dying from groups. You're going to lose your gear and have to rebuy gear. And it may be cheaper at first when you start out. But my method is much more time efficient in the long run because you don't ever lose your gear there is zero gear loss the only thing you lose is because you're using this satchel of insight to basically double your experience gain at the cost of silver and the fact that we're using auto respect with combat fame credits means that we are spending quite a bit of silver which people could argue that uh well you could just you know spin that on re-gears if you die in the black zone but my uh, other opinion too is that because we never lose this gear, I can always resell it. So this 61 million silver cost in my equipment is nothing because I can just sell that back to the market and make most of that back. So that's a non-issue. As a new player, you can actually reach this level of fame farming in your first month if you dedicate yourself to getting it. That means you save up your money, you spec up the proper weapons, and you basically get out there, you buy the equipment, and you start doing this. And make sure that you're using your focus and crafting something to make money each and every single day. And that's how I pay for it. I have crafting alt characters, I grow crops, I grow herbs, wheat, all that kind of stuff on other characters. And that pays for what I do today. Also, as an experienced player, I've reached the point where money is only there to save me time, okay? And what I mean by that is you will reach a point in Albion where you have too many alt characters, too many islands, too much money, you don't know how to spend it. So why not, uh, you know, fame farm 10 times faster um, and less riskier? Because there's no risk doing this. You can't. I can't be killed, I can't lose my loot. And I'm not giving my stuff away to someone who doesn't deserve it, right? So, that's why you farm the static zones. Now, go, go watch that other video I showed you of mine if you want to learn how to do it. But essentially, uh, in the blue zones, you'll see these little buildings here. You can click on it, and it's, a, it's, a, it's an undead dungeon. The undead ones are the best. The tier 4 ones are better than the tier 5 ones. I've run the numbers. I've done the tests. And all you do is you come in here and you kill mobs. So, for today's video, because I don't want to repeat a video that I made, you know, a, what, few months ago... Uh, what I'm going to show you now is we're going to farm 2.5 million uh, fame, and we're going to see how fast we can do it, okay? So I'm starting at 40.1 million combat fame credits. So in order to effectively get 2.5 million fame, this number needs to be 1,250,000 higher because, and I have to explain this to a lot of people, there's a lot of Redditors that get upset and confused by this. The lowest conversion rate for combat fame credits is 2, the absolute lowest. 
So if I go here to Spear or Pike, and I want to level it up once, it's going to cost 45,000 fame to go from level 1 to 2, which costs 22,000 combat fame credits. So if I farm 1.25 million combat fame credits, that is equal to 2.5 million combat fame. So I'm going to go ahead and eat a roast pork here, and I'm not going to fast forward the footage. And if you want to know this build that I'm using, again, go check out the video. It explains exactly what I'm doing, how to do it. And we're going to now, the timer has started, let's go, let's start killing these mobs. And once we get 1.25 million combat fame credits, that is the timer. Okay? And you can you, you can see that it will cost me silver. I have at 72.8 million silver right now, and that number will go down when we're done with this. It absolutely will. Sometimes I get little treasures, um, and it's whatever, but... Let's see, is that a pull I can do? Yes, I can do that. I'm going to start with the archer, though. The archers are always the, the big threat of the group. So, I'm going to go ahead and just blow these guys up, dodging their attacks to the best of my ability. And I accidentally lasered and moved, so I cancelled my spell. But again, it's not going to take me very long to farm the equivalent of someone doing black zone content. And I have zero stress. I can watch in it. My favorite thing is that I can do this casually. I don't have to be high attention. I can do this sleep deprived. I can do this when I just wake up. I don't have to focus. I can literally read YouTube comments if I'm live streaming, because I stream here on YouTube. Sometimes. Not too much. Maybe, maybe more in February, guys. But um, I can I can eat food. I can watch TV. I can watch anime. Like, who doesn't want to watch anime, okay? But when you're in the black zone, you have to you can't listen to music because you have to have full situational awareness of everything around you. So you can't jam out to music. You can't uh, you, like you have to play with headphones in too because if you don't, you're basically gonna die. You're gonna get killed because you won't hear someone approaching you or casting spells or dashing towards you or someone mounting towards you. There's so many things you have to watch out for in the black zones and. Again, you have to, like, be on your toes, you gotta keep your eyes peeled. I don't like that. That raises my blood pressure. It's not fun, it's not exciting, and it's not efficient. There's no reason to ever, ever play that way. Uh, and, and you could argue that this way is more costly, but it's not. It's really not when you, like, go look at all the people that farm Black Zone content and go, go to, like, a website like Murder Ledger and look at how many times they die. And look how much they're spending on their gear. And how much they're losing, okay? They're not gaining more than me. In, in, in a, like, we only have, like, what, 70 years as humans, okay? And, uh, I'm spending my time way more efficiently than they are. So, let's see, are we not quite there? We have 400k in. About, uh, we're one-third done already. We're one-third done, and this food buff has been going on for two minutes. <laughs> see how powerful this is? It's crazy powerful. And I'm not even doing big pulls like I can. I can pull this group up here, it'll be a little harder, but I'm just showing you, you don't have to be even really good at this, uh, like, it doesn't, like, even if it is a skill issue, like, you can bare bones this. You can just sit here and, and play, like, one pull at a time, you don't have to pull multiple groups. I haven't even pulled multiple groups yet, I just don't feel like it, because I'm busy talking to you guys, I'm, you know, not super paying attention, but, uh, like... I could pull this top group. Let's go ahead. Let's get this guy in here. This is a little multi-group pull. You can see I'm starting to take a little bit of damage here, but that's okay. My build is is optimized for this specific content. And that's the thing that people don't get. Like, you'll see people doing fame farms where they're fame farming with, like, a spear. Or they're fame farming with, like... There was a guy earlier I encountered in the open world, and he was fame farming with a whispering bow. Bro, you can attack one target at a time with that E spell. That's terrible. Why would you ever fame farm with that? Just do this and then dump your combat spec into the whispering bow. That's what I've been doing, and, and just, like I can show you. Like, <laughs> Look, over here. I have been leveling whispering bow, because it's really fun in PvP. Look, I've got it to you know 106 right now. I could literally max out a bunch of these other things. But why would I level up the whispering bow, or any of the bows for that matter, by not doing this? This is just way more efficient. This is just so much better. Let's see. We got two groups again. There we go. Now, these groups aren't really upgraded, so they're pretty easy. They're not They're not big. It's the archers you gotta look out for, because that archer's dodging, but we're gonna dump a puddle on him. He's gonna melt. That's what the puddle does. It melts people. Well, not people, because they'll just step out of it. But mobs don't know any better. These guys are skeletons. They don't even feel pain, do they? Maybe? Maybe they can feel it in their bones. I don't know. Let's see. We're almost there. <laughs> 
we're, 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 we're getting pretty close. And remember, like, I'm not even speedrunning this. I'm not even trying to show you the fastest time. I'm just... Can okay, well, that's a bad pull. I don't want to fight two statues. So I'm going to fight this group instead with the one archer. I'm just going to start laser beaming them now. And uh, most of them are already dead. So. Nice archer. Good, of, good on you to run back into the puddle. Again, I'm fighting non-upgraded monsters. If you come here daring what's called the Undead Rally, they will be upgraded and glowing, and they will give way, way, way more fame. It's it's so much better. <laughs> so I'm showing you, like, the bare-bones worst way to do this. As a matter of fact, the best fame is actually outside of the dungeon, because you can pull four to five groups at a time, and they're all clustered nice and close together. Whereas this method... method like, I'm not even pathing correctly. I'm, like, going towards the exit here. So, <laughs> yeah, let's let's run back this way. See, I'm not even doing this efficiently. I am doing this as, like, a newbie would, like, a first-timer would. Okay, and there's a reason for this. I'm, I'm showing you the, the time discrepancy between the two. Okay? <laughs> we'll go ahead and fight this group. I don't like the glowing archers very much, so I kind of prioritize killing them. I'm just going to tank all of these hits, and it's going to hurt. That's okay. Especially that mage there. Also, if the mage casts the slow gr gl growing circle under you, it freezes you into an ice block. But the cool thing about it, <laughs> the cool thing, right? Get it? Uh, is that um, it prevents you from taking damage while you're in the ice block, but you can still cast and an, an act. So it's, it's very neat. So uh, I don't want to really pursue this part of the dungeon anymore. Are we there yet? <laughs> yes, we are there. We're done. Time? What is the time? It, uh, it took, uh, what, 23.40? So that took 6 minutes and, like, 10 seconds. <laughs> that took 6 minutes and 10 seconds to do what other people spend an hour doing. Okay? <laughs> and it would be even faster if I did more efficient pulls. It would be even faster if I was doing it during the rally. Uh, again, go watch that other video that I made. It's, it's so much more detailed. It tells you exactly how I'm doing it, where to go, what build to use, what spells to use, how much spec you need, um, all that kind of fun stuff, all the tips and tricks for pulling mobs. All right. And uh, now that we're back outside, you know, we can do some juicier pulls. What if we just, what if we did it again? You know, maybe try to speed run it this time. I have the shield up, so I'm not aggroing any of these mobs, and none of them are upgraded either, by the way. But uh, we can do some big, beefy boy pulls if it looks like other players uh, are, it is a Saturday night. So it's kind of busy right now. And it's also fame week. Now, you could argue that, yes, it's fame week and that's not fair. Uh, <laughs> but I believe that other video was filmed during fame week, too. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not going to go check right now. But even then, just add 25% to the time. Six minutes. That'd be 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. So make it seven minutes. Make it eight minutes. It doesn't matter. The point is, <laughs> is that... What takes someone an hour to do, it takes us six to eight minutes to do instead. So who's the real who's the real winner? What's the real best fame per hour? Guys. <laughs> There's a clear winner here. And um, let's try to get these archers nice and bundled together. There they are. We got three here. This is a three archer fight, which is really bad. But I don't want my food buff to go to waste. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, pump some puddles under these dudes, start melting the baby archers. And there we go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste your, too much more of your time. I made my point. This right here, farming tier four static dungeons. I don't care if Reddit doesn't like it. I know Reddit is trying to push as many people as possible into the black zones, and a lot of these people, especially other YouTubers, they have these massive Zerg guilds, and their clan, their guild, gets upset at them if they ever mention that doing a blue zone is better. The reason why is that if everyone sticks to the blue and yellow zones. No one's out there to kill, essentially. So these big guilds, these Redditors, these people in charge, they rely on newbies to go out to the Black Zone and die and donate their loot. And then, because they have a monopoly on the Black Zone, they want you to join their guild to basically have safety in numbers. And that's the whole metagame, right? They want you to go to the Black Zone so that you can join their guild and then serve under them and make them more rich, make them more powerful. And it just, the cycle rinses and repeats forever, okay? If it was more efficient to do stuff in the black zone, I, I would I would do it. I would honestly make videos for it. However, there's no point, unless you're in a guild, but I haven't found a single guild that's chill. 
I haven't found any kind of guild that doesn't treat its members like trash, that doesn't treat its members like, like, property, like, like a cog in the machine, okay? So, for me, for you, I don't, like, I know that you don't want to be treated that way, so why would I ever suggest something to put you in that position? I'm not like that, I'm not gonna do that. Like, I'm not even dodging properly on this archer. <laughs> I'm just tanking everything. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, guys. That's also... Now, here's another thing, too. In in that uh, video that I compared from Big Lips McGee, he did also add in the fame per hour for how much favor you gain from the Black Zone. And um, one cool thing is you'll notice I'm faction flag. Now, I'm getting faction points for this, so I'll go ahead and show you. I'll just go ahead and go back to town. I hate to waste my food buff. I, I really need to farm more, more combat fame credits before this fame week runs out. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. You know those those tomes that he's talking about in his video and he added it to his total? Well, I'm not adding that to my total, uh, but you could. And I'm going to show you right now what I'm talking about, okay? So every 9,000 faction points that you farm, and if you want to know how much you can farm in one hour, it's a bunch. You can buy several of these chests in one hour of farming, okay? So I'm going to buy two chests, and in those two chests, I'm going to go ahead and open it. You'll see that I get the fame tomes. There's 200,000 from this one. That's another 300,000 and 50,000. So I made 550,000 fame from these fame tomes. So there you go. It's uh, it's the same thing as farming in the black zone, except instead of might, um, you're trading in faction points, and you're not losing gear, you're not stressing out. It's, it's the best way to fame farm in 2023 that no one's doing because they can't, because they're not good enough at the game, they're not geared enough, they don't have the, the determination to get the good enough gear for I'm not even an 8.4. I'm using 8.3. Well, the Crypt Candle's 8.4. You don't need an 8.4. You could do this in much less gear. I've seen people in 7.3 do it. Um, I just I like to overgear my content. I like things to be easy. I like things to be stress-free. But guys, that's all I've got for you. I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. And um, on your right side of the screen is a video that you should absolutely click. Go watch the other videos that I mentioned um, at the start of this video, because they're really good ones, if you have not seen it yet, go watch it right now. It'll, it's the best way to fame farm in 2023, guaranteed. Thank you so much, make sure you're subscribed, because I make videos every day. I'll see you in tomorrow's video, take care.